it's Addie with Close to My Heart and today we're going to use some ink and an aqua brush to paint in one of our new stamped images that has a thin cut. So today we're going to be using a bunch of love and a bunch of love thin cuts. And we're going to start with a piece of watercolor paper and we're going to mount our stamp on this big block that I have and stamp that in some black ink. So we have the big block. I haven't used these stamps yet. And I have some black ink over here. Actually we're going to do two just because my watercolor paper is big enough. Put my squishy under. Oh no. You can see I still got an awesome image without it, but let's see if it looks extra pretty. Okay, so now we have two to work with, and I'm gonna dump some super fine clear embossing powder over the top. And now I'm going to heat that with my heat gun. I also want to add the sentiment into these banners. So I'm going to do happy birthday on the left one. And thanks a bunch on the right. and some embossing powder too and also hit that with my heat gun of course next we're going to take our ink and our acrylic block and we're going to make kind of a palette out of a paint palette i'm just going to smush some ink right onto the block i have pomegranate cotton candy Gypsy, thistle, pear, this is peacock, I love peacock, and my favorite color of all time, lagoon. So we have this pretty rainbow of colors on our block. And we need our water brush next. And I'm going to start with um, this little. And I'm squeezing the brush a little bit to get some water in this. And I'm just going to go in and paint in. Oops. First stroke. Got it a little bit where I didn't want it. That's pretty fun. Let's go in and get some cotton candy. the first one and then all you do is line up the thin cut with your image and then I use a piece of washi tape so that it stays still in my cuddle bug and I'm gonna run that through so here's what it looks like right as I take it out of the cuddle bug 
I just take my washi piece off and that part goes away and the thin cut pops right off. Now we have two pieces we can use on cards. Now we just have to figure out how we want to make a card with these. I have two square top folding card bases made out of white daisy cardstock and they are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I thought I would use this four inch by four inch piece of thistle fundamentals that I have sitting on my table. Um, card I took, off, took it off of. And, and then I also had this piece from the Penelope papers and I'm gonna put some glue on the back of that. Let's see how this looks. Then I took more white daisy cardstock and I ran it through my cuddle bug with a chevron embossing folder. And this is three and a half square. And I'm gonna see how this one looks on here. But I think I'm gonna use my foam tape and pop that up. Again, the dimensions are four and a quarter card base, four inch thistle square, three and a half inch for this chevron. And we're gonna do foam tape on the back of this guy as well. cards finished. That's it. Thanks for joining me.